There are many famous historical incidents and folklores around the festival of Raksha Bandhan. One such popular folklore is from Mahabharat. This is a story my parents told me about the tradition of sisters trying Rakhi to her brothers. This incident happened during Yudhishthira's Rajduya Yakya, before the epic battle of Kurukshetra and even before the exile of Panda, they had built the city of Indraprastha and conducted a Ratsuya Yakya. Kings and representatives from various kingdoms like Bhishmak, Drupad, Karna, Shalya, Shishupal, Rukmi, Iklavya, etc. were present in the assembly. Elders from Kuru clan like Pahale, Bhishma, Dhritarashtra, Vidur, along with all the Kaurav brothers were also present. Kripacharya and Dronacharya were also in attendance along with Ashwatthama. Kunti, Draupadi and other women of Kuru clan also gathered to witness the conclusion of great Yajna. Towards the conclusion of Raksuya Yajna, Narad Muni asked Yudhishthir, who should be given the honor of receiving first arc? Yudhishthir looked at Pitama Bhishma for his opinion. Bhishma looked at everyone present in the assembly and proclaimed that of all the people present, nobody else was more deserving of the honor than Sri Krishna. Yudhishthir and other Pandav brothers were extremely happy at the suggestion of Pitama Bhishma and decided to bestow the honor of receiving the first arc on Sri Krishna. King of Chedi, Shishupal, did not like this and stood from his seat in protest. He said, Hey Yudhishthir, it is not right to bestow this honor on Sri Krishna when there are so many other great kings and sages are in attendance. He is neither a king nor a yogi. He is neither elder in age nor in status. In that case, why such honor should be bestowed upon him? After registering his objection like this, Shishupal walked out. Yudhishthir stopped him and asked Pitama again his opinion on the matter. Pitama stood his ground and stated that he is still on the opinion that there is nobody better than Vasudev for this honor and it doesn't matter if the king of Chedi has any objection over it. Hearing Bhishma's words, Shishupal got angry and started abusing him. In his fit of rage, he went on insulting Shri Krishna and started using one expletive after another. Now let me tell you a backstory about Shishupal. When he was born, he had three eyes and four hands. Looking at such deformed baby, his parents were really concerned. At that point, a divine voice told them that the person whose touch will cause the third eye to disappear and two extra arms to fall off will be the person responsible for killing him. Upon hearing the news of newborn, all the neighboring kings and relatives visited Shiri kingdom to see the baby. Shri Krishna and Balaram also came to see their aunt's baby boy. The moment Shri Krishna held the baby in his hands, his third eye disappeared and two extra arms fell off on the ground. Looking at that, Shishupa's mother made Shri Krishna promise her that he will ignore 100 mistakes of her son. Because of this promise made to Shishupal's mother, Shri Krishna kept listening to Shishupal's angry tirade. But he was not stopping. He kept going with his abuses. In the end, Shri Krishna stood from his chair and said, Listen, you idiot. I was quiet so far because of the promise I made to your mother. But now you have crossed that limit. And now the moment has come to end your time on this earth. After making this proclamation, Shri Krishna summoned his divine Sudarshan Chakra and beheaded Shishupal. The moment Shishupal was decapitated, a 
bright light emerged from his body and merged into Shri Krishna. There is a popular legend that when Shri Krishna beheaded Chichupal, his finger for hurt and all the women present in the assembly started running around to find something to stop the bleeding. At that moment, Draupadi tore off a piece of her sari and tied it on the bleeding finger. According to this folklore, later during the game of dice, when Dushasan was trying to disrobe Draupadi, she called for Krishna to protect her modesty. And Sri Krishna answered the call by returning the piece of Draupadi's sari with interest. On the day of Raksha Bandhan, brother promised to protect the honor of their sisters, the way Sri Krishna protected Draupadi. My Sutradhar wishes all brothers and sisters happy Raksha Bandhan. May Sri Krishna protect us all from all the evils in the world and guide us towards the righteous path.